Hey guys, Wave Tech Spreader Hunting. Well, the day is finally here. We're going to get to making this video of the shootout between the Fixed by Q and the Sig Cross. Now, before we get started, I will talk about a few complaints I've had of each rifle, I suppose. And then we'll talk about it more in another video. And we're probably going to invite some other shooters to shoot the rifles and see what their thoughts are. Because we want it to be this to be an unbiased video. We're just going to bring you the facts as we see them. And that's it. Now, before we get started, here are all the large assortment of 308 ammos I was able to pick up, find, and I had some. So this is what we're going to be doing, our group testing between each rifle. Some are just older, lots of the same ammo. Some are different all together. But we found us a large assortment of ammos here. Now, we got both rifles set up and ready to go, but we made one quick change. This is the fixed by Q and we were able to attach an Area 419 Arca rail to it because that's the way we want to set it up because we're going to do some in the field type shooting and shooting off certain things kind of like a PRS type setup so we wanted our ability to move up and down the bipod. We will weigh these rifles later. I do not have a scale here that would be appropriate for weighing the rifles at this time. Now we did swap out the optic on the SIG Cross because we want to do another video at the same time for Texas long range hunting. So if you're not following that YouTube channel, be sure to jump over and like, subscribe, and all that good jazz. Now this is the VX5 from Leopold, 3 to 15. It has a Winplex reticle, zero stop, etc. But you need to jump over to Texas Long Range Hunting to go ahead and hit that video of the shootout between the optics themselves. The good thing is they're close to the same length and they're damn near the exact same weight. So we're good to go there. And they're basically the same power and all that good other good stuff. Again, jump over to Texas Long Range Hunting if you want to see the video on these two optics. So we have this one completely set up, ready to roll. We're both running the Dead Air TI on both of them. But again, we're running the Q attachment system on the Q rifle and the Air 419 system on the cross rifle. Now I will say that we did a 50 round break in on both of these rifles just to make sure everything is as close to equal as possible. We did a 50 round break in where we shot a couple clean, so, so on and so forth. Then when we got to 20, we shot five round groups, letting the barrel cool in between and then cleaning after about 20 rounds. So we got to 50 rounds on both these rifles and we're getting ready to shoot for groups. So follow along and see what that's about. And we'll talk about it at the end and show you each target paper of each rifle. Now we are going to be letting the barrels cool to the same temp after each five round group and then moving on from there. So follow along. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got through shooting our first two sets of ammo with the barrels cooled back down to 74 degrees towards the muzzle before we shot our next set of groups. First set of groups, cold bore. Uh, took some dry fire practice before I started shooting, but it had some great results. But I did shoot them out of order, but then I quickly fixed that. So let's take a look at the target board right quick. All right, so on the left, we have SIG Cross. On the right, we have Fixed by Q. Now, like I said, I shot them out of order. That's actually the SIG 168 grain on top and the SIG 150 grain on bottom. Other than that, we have our stuff going right now. I had my boxes mixed, matched, and all that good stuff, but we got it all sorted out, and then luckily it was just the first few loads. Now, obviously, the Fix shot better than the Cross, but both of those are just fine. And then we're down here to the SIG 150 grain projectiles, which were absolutely terrible through both rifles. But we are going to let the barrels cool. And we might get another round of two more different kinds of boxes of ammo today. I'm not sure. I wish I could see getting low light. I don't want to. I have lights on these target boards, but I don't want to shoot these at night. I won't wait until it's daytime. So we'll probably just bring y'all in 
when we get through shooting all the groups and collect all the target papers and then sit down and talk about all of them, see which one done better. So until the next video, we'll see you guys next time.